What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Dogecoin's technical analysis. So definitely stick around to the end of the video. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. If you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next as long as it's not some scam coin. And also, this video is brought to you by Marcellus.BeatStars.com. And let's get straight to it. So as you can see here, Dogecoin topped out all the way up here at this resistance and it went down because it got rejected at the supply and demand area. The red areas show less demand of our supply and demand. Green areas show more demand of our supply and demand. So notice how it went down a second and hit this red area here. So this is major resistance for us all the way up here at this point right here at 0 0.0714, somewhere around that, right? So that's definitely some resistance where we got some uh, Dogecoin resistance now. We hit back here and we hit this little support floor. So the second we hit this support, it looked like we just did not want to go down anymore. We had some very good support at this area. So this support brings us all the way down here to point zero six two six five, somewhere around there, right? So now we're trying to break past this resistance. So if Dogecoin has enough momentum, it can break past this resistance. And then the next area we will bring us is this next resistance all the way up here at point zero six six two nine or just 0 0.0663, if you will. So that is definitely a pretty good area for Dogecoin to try to reach. I think we can definitely do that. But will we continue to stay bullish after that? That is the main question on people's minds. Will Dogecoin continue to stay bullish once we run back up to this level here? And the next thing that you want to look at to find out that answer to that question is our next resistance area. How far are they away? And how much support did we have at them at our previous time at being at those supports, right? So you can see over here, we had some over on that support. And this support right here is around 0 0.067. So somewhere around there. And that's actually the next support for us. So we had all right support back here, back in the, yes, earlier today, not, not yesterday, but earlier today, we had support around here before we kept going down. But we did have like minor support there and it didn't stay there for too long. So I don't think that's a strong support for us. So it's not going to be a strong resistance for us either. So we may actually be able to break past this with easier flying colors if we just start getting major buying coming into Dogecoin. Now over here, I want to go over something. So it says Dogecoin price signals its intention. So Dogecoin price rallied roughly 60% between June 19th and June 26th and set a swing high at 0 0.078. So since we already had a huge pump for Dogecoin, it's going to be a lot harder for Dogecoin to get back in on that pump and then continue to go up. So that's definitely going to be hard for us. But we did just now have a little bit of a correction here. So you can even tell like the, the way we just went straight down. We didn't really even stop only at that support I was mentioning before. We stopped there very briefly. So this is definitely pretty bad. Not pretty bad, but you know, it is a little bit of a correction that we had. And we all knew a pullback was coming. So we had that pullback for Dogecoin down. Over here, it says Doge is currently trading above the 8-day EMA at 0 0.067 and the 34-day EMA at 0 0.072. As the meme coin gets coiled up, the possibility of a volatile move seems more likely. So, yeah, we are getting in these volatile territories, assuming the breakout favors the bulls. Now, this is what we'd like to hear. Dogecoin price can rally 20% to retest the 0 0.082 hurdle. So, they're saying that we could rise and then pass that 0 0.082 hurdle. And that's all, all the way up here. So we don't even have any levels all the way up there. So we would have to look at it from the four hour chart at this point. So do you believe that Dogecoin could pass 0 0.082 right now? So that's way, way, way up here. It's past our supply and demand area. This whole red area indicates that there's less demand. There's a less demand area for our supply demand. So this is going to be pretty hard for us to continue to raise. But Something that you really want to watch out here for Dogecoin is on the oscillator. So you have to pay attention to the oscillator. It's always a bearish signal, right? When you have your buying becoming less and less and less. When your buying waves are less, 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 and less, and they're going straight down like this, then that's always a bearish signal. And that's why we got this oversold area. But this is the important part. Now that we're in this oversold area, it has to come out of this eventually. And you see that we were oversold and you see that we peaked here in the selling and now we're starting to go back down so now the buying is going to start going back 
And look, we stopped right here, but we still have more room to go back inside of this selling wave. And then it's going to bring us right back up here to a buying wave. So we're about to have some buying coming back into Dogecoin. And I predict that the buying is going to bring us all the way back up here to this resistance here. And we're going to be back inside that supply demand area. That's just what I think personally. I think that's what will happen with our buying. So we just got to stick around and see what happens there. But yeah, I think that's probably what's about to happen next. So we'll we'll have to see what happens, you know. But anyways, it says over here, in this case, Doge could travel another 34% to retest the 10 cent ceiling. So if we get all the way up there to that 8 cent point, they're saying that we could pass 10 cents. And this run up in total would constitute a 60% gain. And it's likely where Dogecoin price forms a local top. So they're saying around the point. 109 area which is 10 cents the higher level of 10 cents is where we'll probably top out at and it's actually exactly where our next resistance really is so i don't i don't think they're lying here at all i think if we do start to go up from here and we just have a major pump and we do stop at 10 cents like that's that's where our next resistance is set our next major resistance so yeah they're, they're definitely right with that being top so moving on from there though here's the little chart that they're talking about and that they're showing us there's the 10 cent support i mean resistance and then you got the 0 0.082 resistance that they're talking about as well so if we pass that 0 0.082 then we're almost going to for sure go all the way up here to the 10 cents so that's exactly what we got going on there and then down here you can see some more stuff they're talking about on the other hand if dogecoin price produces a daily candlestick close below the 0.048 it's invalidated all that good stuff if it goes down below since they're saying that we're pretty much bearish which is pretty obvious but anyways over here they also mentioned something about grace grayscale suing the sec i'm probably going to make a whole video about this because this is actually pretty significant for the whole crypto market and um if they actually are successful in suing the sec this is going to be a good thing for crypto in my personal opinion like if if i don't know if we can actually get through with this that will definitely be pretty good for crypto it'll be bad for the sec because they've been trying to regulate crypto heavily but look if we lose this case it's going to be really bad for crypto if we lose because a whole crypto etf trying to sue the uh, the sec they're going to be mad at that they're going to take that personally it's going to get real personal but anyways over here it says grayscale announced earlier today that it has filed a lawsuit against the sec for denying a spot bitcoin etf listing they better win this because if they don't they're really going to come after crypto but anyways, this is all I got for you all today. I just wanted to show this. I want to show some uh, large purchases here, large purchases here inside of Bit or not Bitcoin, but Dogecoin as well. I showed this one yesterday, fifty-seven point seven million. But this one today that we just now had is pretty huge. So all these eight thousand dollar orders, all done within today, yesterday, they pulled out all pretty much within this week. This is a lot of purchases, and they just keep doing it. They just keep buying, 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 and buying, buying more Dogecoin buying buying and buying and buying and buying and they haven't sold any dogecoin since february of this year and it's already june and they haven't sold since february so yeah that's pretty significant that they've just been buying so much dogecoin so yeah it looks like millions and millions of dollars have been purchased here but yeah this is all i got for you all today definitely go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe leave a comment in the comment section if you want to become a member of the channel definitely go ahead and do that i'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next as long as it's not some scam coin and this video is brought to you by marcellus.beatstars.com if you want any background music for your youtube videos or if you just need some beats for your music i got you and remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this is financial advice as always i'll be back with another video